In the twisted universe of the Alien franchise, the horrifying creatures known as Xenomorphs have always been the epitome of nightmares, with their relentless pursuit and terrifyingly efficient methods of killing. These creatures, born from the darkest corners of the universe, embody the primal fear of the unknown, the monstrous and the uncontrollable. But in Alien Romulus, the terror takes on an even more disturbing form. A new horror emerges from the fusion of human vulnerability and xenomorph savagery, twisted further by the influence of the deadly black goo pathogen, a substance infamous for its ability to warp and corrupt any life it touches. This new entity is not merely a xenomorph, but a hybrid that encapsulates the worst aspects of both human and alien natures. It's a being that symbolizes the ultimate perversion of life, a creature that should never have existed, yet does, bringing with it a sense of profound dread. This is the offspring, a creature born not just from the terror of the xenomorph, but from the hubris of humanity's relentless drive to control the uncontrollable. The offspring's very existence raises chilling questions about the consequences of tampering with life's most fundamental laws and the horrors that can emerge when humanity's ambition meets the unknowable darkness of the cosmos. The offspring is not just another xenomorph. It is the tragic result of a human fetus being corrupted by the black goo pathogen, Z01, a recreated version of the original black goo responsible for creating these xenomorphs. This sinister experiment pushed the boundaries of science, combining human DNA with the alien pathogen in ways never intended. The result is a grotesque hybrid, a being that embodies the most terrifying qualities of both humans and xenomorphs. It has the cunning intelligence of a human, merged with the predatory instincts and physical prowess of a xenomorph. But what makes the offspring truly horrifying is its mind, a twisted consciousness driven by malevolent intent. Unlike the instinctual xenomorphs, the offspring exhibits a chilling awareness, a sadistic pleasure in its actions, and a desire not just to survive, but to inflict pain and suffering, making it a nightmare beyond comprehension. Standing at an unnervingly tall height, approximately around 7 feet 2.13 meters, the offspring's towering presence is impossible to ignore. Its pale, almost translucent skin is a chilling reminder of its human origins, yet the twisted nature of its creation is evident in every aspect of its being. The skin, while fragile in appearance, seems to shimmer with an otherworldly sheen, as if hinting at the toxic corruption coursing through its veins. The biomechanical features that ripple across its body are a grotesque homage to the classic xenomorph design, yet they tell a story of mutation and pain, its back, lined with underdeveloped spikes, resembles craters that ooze black goo, a constant, sickening reminder of the cursed black pathogen that brought it into existence. The spikes are not just decorative but serve as a grim indicator of its violent, unstable nature. The offspring's face, though disturbingly human at first glance, reveals a deeper horror upon closer inspection. The human-like facial expressions are warped by a sinister intent and its black, soulless eyes are voids that draw you in with a promise of death. They pierce through the darkness with an unsettling intensity, reflecting nothing but the malevolent hunger that drives the creature. The contrast between its vaguely familiar, human traits and the monstrous alien elements makes the offspring a terrifying embodiment of unnatural evolution. The offspring's body is a bizarre mix of human and xenomorph anatomy. Its lower abdomen and groin area bear fleshy slits, suggesting a twisted version of human reproductive organs, though their true purpose remains a mystery. These slits hint at a disturbing potential for self-replication or some other unknown biological function, possibly linked to the black goo that courses through its veins. The offspring's physiology also retains the xenomorph's signature inner jaw, a deadly tool not just for killing but also for feeding on the black goo it craves, a substance that seems to fuel its monstrous existence. But there's more to the offspring's design than just its fusion of human and alien features. Its spike tail, reminiscent of a xenomorph's, is a deadly weapon, capable of impaling and dismembering its victims with ease. These spikes aren't just for show, they serve as both a defensive mechanism and a brutal instrument of death. The offspring's claws, sharp enough to tear through metal, are equally lethal, making it a fearsome opponent in close combat. Its skin, though appearing fragile and almost translucent, is incredibly resilient, providing a tough, protective layer that allows it to survive in the harshest conditions, including the vacuum of space. This skin also has a unique texture, blending human-like flesh with biomechanical elements that enhance its durability and adaptability. This combination of physical attributes makes the offspring not just a terrifying predator, but a virtually unstoppable force. 
Its blend of human cunning and xenomorph savagery, coupled with its biological enhancements, enables it to outmatch any adversary it encounters. Whether in the depths of space or the confines of a spaceship, the offspring's presence is a relentless nightmare, embodying the ultimate fusion of human and alien horrors. Unlike the typical xenomorphs, which act on pure instinct, the offspring exhibits a chilling level of sentience and malice. Upon shedding its birth chrysalis, it doesn't just hunt it relishes in the suffering of its victims. When it corners rain, it doesn't just attack its smirks, showing a sadistic pleasure in the kill. This is a creature that not only seeks to survive but also to dominate and destroy with a twisted sense of pleasure. The offspring's rage is unmatched. When faced with a threat, it abandons the typical survival instincts of its xenomorph kin, driven instead by a blind fury. This is evident in its final confrontation with Rain, where it could have easily escaped but instead chose to attack, even at the cost of its own life. The origins of the offspring are as tragic as they are terrifying. Kay, the mother of this abomination, was desperate to protect her unborn child in the midst of a xenomorph outbreak. In her desperation, she injected herself with the black goo, a decision that would seal her fate and that of her child. The black goo, a mutagenic fluid, corrupted the developing fetus, accelerating its growth and twisting its genetic makeup into something monstrous. The birth of the offspring was a gruesome affair. Kay, already weakened by the black goo, gave birth to a chrysalis instead of a child. This grotesque pod, filled with acidic fluids, quickly grew and hatched into the monstrous hybrid. The offspring, upon emerging, immediately sought out its mother not for comfort, but to drain her of the black goo that sustained it. The moment when the offspring first lays eyes on Kay is both tragic and horrifying. It approaches her with a sense of curiosity, as if recognizing her as its creator, yet its intentions are far from benevolent. The creature's twisted tongue, which initially seems human, extends into a xenomorph's inner mouth, a tool of both sustenance and death. Kay's fate is sealed in this moment, as the offspring feeds on the very essence that created it, showing no mercy or attachment. In Alien Romulus, the offspring serves as one of the film's primary antagonists, alongside the android Rook. Its relentless pursuit of Rain and the other survivors on the Corbelan IV space station is a testament to its lethal nature. Driven by a need to feed and destroy, the offspring cuts through its victims with terrifying efficiency. The offspring's adaptability is another trait that sets it apart. Throughout the film, we see it rapidly grow and evolve, from a newborn creature to a full-fledged monster. This accelerated aging process, combined with its inherent xenomorph traits, makes it a formidable foe. It hunts with a cunning intelligence, using its surroundings to its advantage and showing an understanding of human behavior that is both unsettling and dangerous. The offspring's presence in Alien Romulus is more than just physical. Its very existence adds a layer of psychological horror to the film. The survivors are not just running from a monster, they are confronting the horrors of human experimentation, the consequences of tampering with life itself. The offspring embodies the perils of playing God, a theme that runs deep in the Alien franchise. The final confrontation between Rain and the offspring is a true test of survival. Even as Rain dons a spacesuit and prepares to eject the creature into space, the offspring's fury drives it to continue its attack, clinging to her despite the deadly environment. Its relentless nature, however, ultimately leads to its downfall, as Rain's quick thinking sends the creature to its demise, avenging Kay's death. The offspring is not the first hybrid to appear in the Alien franchise, but it stands out as one of the most unique and terrifying. Unlike the newborn from Alien Resurrection, which had a more instinctual and emotional connection to its mother, the offspring is driven by a cold, calculated malice. It sees its mother, Kay, not as a figure of attachment, but as a source of sustenance, absorbing the black goo from her without a hint of remorse. In every sense, the offspring represents a terrifying addition to the Alien franchise, a creature born from the darkest depths of human desperation and xenomorph terror. It is a reminder that in the world of Alien, the true monsters are often born from within. As we look to the future of the franchise, one thing is clear, the horrors that await us will continue to challenge our perceptions of life, death, and the unknown.